Hey everybody, I'm Hacked and Monster here, back with Marvel Heroes, 2.1 release, got Loki. Uh, I don't know why I said I would do the ones that had uh, characters, serious changes, and actually I believe Loki is one of those characters that actually had a serious change. Um, there's a massive change to the pets. Um, first, let's go over some of the changes. Uh, Lord of Deception. Uh, there's a lot of dodge rating going on there. As you can see, I've maximized it for myself, and I have almost all the artifacts. I'm just missing the apple here. But with that massive amount of dodge, I'm still only at 24%. 2,900 or 800 dodge anyways, 24% dodge. So you're not going to get a lot of dodge out of me. I'm also sitting at, uh, you know, for some reason, it's really, oh, I changed a lot. I have uh, 700 crit rating. That's giving me a 17% chance, basically, to crit. Um, but if you look at the damage rating here, 1100 damage rating is giving me 28% increase to all my damage. This is where the bread and butter of this patch has really come through. Crit, dodge, defense. So look at my defense. It's 30%. My dodge, 25 30%. Everything's going to be... 25 to 30 percent. This tenacity is there's some kind of bug, they didn't do it right. Um, but on average, if, if you're at like say a thousand, you should be seeing 25 to 30 percent. Getting beyond that, it's really difficult, except for damage rating. It really stacks. If you look at my mental damage rating, 2000 is giving me 50 percent extra damage. That's the number you want to go for if you want DPS. Forget about crit. Forget about brutal strikes. Forget about all the fluff and buff. Go for that damage. It's it's so easy to get, and it's massive, and uh, it really just pays off. And um, that's what their their whole goal with the patch was to normalize all the damage ratings. But anyways, I'm kind of digressing on what happened with the patch and why I'm kind of leaning towards what I did. Um, Board of Deception, the change was a lot of dodge, but it's really not that much dodge. As you can see, I'm not getting a lot of dodge out of it. But there is a massive projectile evasion chance. 26% chance to avoid projectiles completely is great, seeing how dodge is not only a 50% damage reduction anyways. Uh, there is an increase for duration and damage of allies, which is great because I am not going to buff my pets one little bit anymore. Because if you look, I've maximized Spatial Deception, and my pets are now doing 700 to 1100 damage. How weak is that? Now, granted, they're six plus two from the hat. That makes eight. So I get a maximum of, like, say, 8,000 damage. There's a bug. They're doing about twice that. So they're not terrible per se, but you definitely don't have to throw, like, all your artifacts and your, your uh, medallion for that. And I'll show you what I'm doing. Um, there was a massive buff to Meteoric Illusion. If you put points into it, that damage scales up quite well. You get about 30,000 damage. However, uh, the cooldown being 4 seconds, it doesn't pay off. When we're looking at Frost Spikes over here, um, I'm getting 30,000 damage just about anyways. Uh, Lay Waste, there's a big nerf to this. It starts off pretty big, but it just doesn't scale well. As you can see, at rank 0, it's uh, 48 to 73, and at rank 4, it's 55 to 83. And it's only 33% damage increased for each uh, debuff on there. You're lucky to get 100% increase in uh, damage, uh, especially for your PvPers. If you're PvPing, you're going to want to make sure you get this attack speed and movement speed debuff thrown on your enemies anyways. That's paying off in, in spades. In one point in Jolten Blood's adding an extra almost 10% debuff. Um, if you're PvPing, you might want to increase this just for that bonus slow. That's up to you. I, I don't know. I don't really PvP that much, so you know, you could probably take some of the damage rating out of enemy of my enemy. This is a whole new build, so I'll go into why. 
uh, arcane ruin, massive damage potential if you want to blow up your enemies or your uh, illusions, which is perfectly feasible now. Uh, 12 second cooldown, you can probably get uh, somewhere around 120, 130,000 point hit, uh, but they're going to be spread out between, uh, you know, eight. Uh, I think actually only the six that you spawn regularly times about 15k per when you max it out. So, you know, it's a big hit all at once, especially if you do Meteoric Illusion to put them all in one spot and then pop Arcane Ruin to blow them up in the same spot. Uh, Arcane Shield, the damage has been nerfed. It's just straight damage rating. If you look at rank 7, it's 300 damage. About 1,000 damage rating equals about 25% bonus damage. So 300 is almost 250 is uh, basically somewhere around 6.5% damage buff. It's been nerfed. But you get a, a huge projectile deflection chance when you mix that up with uh, Lord of Deception. You can be sitting almost 60% projectile deflection chance. Uh, interesting way to go there if you're looking to deflect projectiles. Uh, Master of Sorcery. Uh, this... Uh, it looks like uh, they lowered the, the spirit cost a little bit. The, how much it gets reduced. That's not so much. I think you have to spend a lot more points to see more out of it. And the uh, Cold Snap. They put a little bit more into there, but they haven't raised it enough. It's nowhere near where it needs to be for the six second cooldown. It really needs to be around triple the damage. So for the build idea, uh, what I'm doing here is I'm sticking with Spatial Deception and Lord of Deception. I actually don't have to stick with Lord of Deception, but I want the dodge rating. And Obviously, I want the, the allies to stay around for a longer period of time, and I want them to do a little bit more damage. And I'm using Spatial Deception because the actual attack itself does pretty good damage. And then the minions themselves do pretty good damage. And what I'm doing here is Frost Armor's been changed. Instead of doing a Life Steal effect, it's now doing a regeneration per hit. However, it's a misleading per hit, I believe, because Jean Grey's abilities now do it the same way. I believe every enemy you hit regenerates that health. So with Frost Spikes being an AoE, if you hit six, six enemies, you get six times the 125, I believe. Because I am going through and I am not losing a lot of health until I hit, like, say, Curse, who has a weird ability, and then all of a sudden I'm losing a lot of health. Um, permafrost spikes, it's, it's a must, it's a go-to. There's no other contender in this whole thing. I mean, Meteor Illusion does the same damage with a cooldown for more spirit. It's just crazy. This is actually putting a slow on there. It's lowering their attack speed, and it hits like a truck. And it's, it's only 12 spirit. It's spammable. Um, unyielding power is awesome. The duration increases with points spent. Um, it's got a spirit cost, not sure why. The mental damage is phenomenal. The damage rating you're getting, like I said, at 1,000 is about 25% increased damage. So you're increasing your own damage by 25%, so the mental damage goes up even more. You're getting 2,000 damage or defense rating, which roughly equals about maybe 7 to 10% da less damage incoming. Uh, but it's a boss killer. You know, you're, you're popping it at the right time on a boss, and a duration of 17 seconds, it should last that boss fight, if not longer. And I do enemy in my enemy because, like I said, at 500 plus 500 with chilled, we are chilling things with permafrost spikes, and we are also chilling things with frost armor. We're getting a thousand damage. That's a 25% increase in damage. That's why I'm doing the build the way I'm doing it, and we're using the illusions. They are doing extra damage, they're doing cleanup chores and, and such like they were before, but we're not maximizing their damage because they are actually aren't the main source of damage anymore. Really our main source of damage for boss killing is going to be permafrost spikes and unyielding power.
and the actual spatial deceptions mean a base attack. And what I did to maximize this is I have to make sure I have some hit points and health with this patch and with the previous patch. And I don't know if you guys remember or not, maybe some of you are new and didn't see some of those old videos back when they did the defense review. I said the two things are king, hit point and hit point regeneration. No matter how you're getting those hit points back, you have to get them back because you're going to lose it. There's no way to avoid that, especially now with the dodge change. You are absolutely going to take damage, so you absolutely have to replace damage. Have something that replaces damage. Super Soldier Serum is awesome. Look at it, level 25. Look what it does. It's incredible. Um, and advanced ones are even better. I'm using Power Prism Shard. Why? Because I'm using Permafrost Spikes. I'm also using Arcane Binding. Even though I'm not putting points into it, I just put one point into it. I mean, it's ticking for 7,000 damage a second for one point. Might as well have it out there. It's going to help burn down a boss. And Power Prison Shard is increasing the radius, giving me some crit for it, and also reducing the cost of it. I'm trying out Wizard Medallion. Um, it was a tough choice between a 20% Dr. Octopus's medal, obviously, for the increased uh, area effect. Affecting 20% more mobs is a huge increase. Or getting, in this case, a uh, 600 um, damage rating on attacks. You know, so, you know, 600 damage rating, that's basically 12.5% more damage. And also some crowd control with the knockdown or knock up. So, it was a tough choice. But I decided to give the Wizard Medallion a shot. Uh, Pulvian Superconductor is a great, great artifact now. Almost 500 uh, damage rating, 12.5% damage increase. And Talisman of Kunlun. I'm going to be using Spatial Deception and keeping my boss enemies close. 14% uh, increase to my damage is awesome. And look at that, level 14. If I decide that I'm going to use uh, Loki to, uh, you know, Paragon with, it is going to be an awesome artifact to have to do it with, especially if we uh, buff it up. And so that's the build. We're going to be doing Spatial Deception, Lord of Deception, Permafrost Spikes, Frost Armor, Unyielding Power, Enemy and My Enemy. For one-pointers, you want to make sure you have Jolten Blood. You want to make sure you have Arcane Levitation. You want to fly around. You want to have Arcane Binding. That's the uh, AoE, the dot AoE. And Illusionary Projection. This is just to get your illusions in one spot if you've been running around and you have them all over. That's the only thing I'm doing with it. Is just getting them to one place. And uh, that's it. So I'll go ahead and show you this out. I would like to see if I can't get a higher level uh, wizard medallion. So we're going to do some aim. Let me just move this over. And we're going to make sure the frost armor is up and see how it works out in live. I only tried it out and test a little bit. And I'll jump around and get some illusion. Here we go. Already got a unique. Oh, huh, look at that. What a great thing. I got the sound off so it doesn't really interfect with uh, me. So as you can see, this is just tearing this up. I am going to rip through it. Health is going up and down as stated. I do have a 4% lifesteal core on, so I won't change that even though it's a low level core. And, uh, oh, I should have gone over that. Yeah, let's kill off some stuff, so. show you what I did to make sure I had enough life incoming. Obviously Relic of uh, uh, Lemuria is awesome, but I changed my uh, costume. I got 988 health on a grade 4, so I kept it, and the grade 1, 2, and 3 were all regenerate health when I hit with a basic power, seeing so, you know, how I'm spamming Spatial Deception anyways. 
might as well have it. That's an extra 200 health a hit, plus this is 225. And just assuming that Frost Armor doesn't work the way I do, that I think it does, and it works the way that it, uh, it at worst would be, where it's only one hit, um, that's an extra 125. So I'm looking at, you know, 350 health a second incoming just from that alone. And, uh, oh, I got I cool. Well, my level 60 I cool anyways, at least I don't have to spend money to upgrade it. I just saved uh, 600,000 credits or something, I think. You crit during two or four units, reaching rates and rates, etc. Yep, so I might as well put it on. Save that one. That's kind of awesome. I wish I got the apple, though. And, uh,. That's it. I obviously I got all the artifacts, the ring. I just got damage rating with the area power, brutal strike rating. It's pointless for me now. I will go as much damage rating as I possibly can. And uh, this is a crit based insignia. I will swap that out when I find something better. Hopefully something that's just plus damage. But let's get back to finding the wizard. Oops. Ooh, Lemuria. I'm having all the luck today. Let me see if I can get my sound back on. No, nope, I think my headset just blow out. Oh, there it goes. It's low on power. I got a battery operated uh, wireless headset, so every now and then it goes with low on power. So, as you can see, I am not losing spirit at all. I am popping spikes whenever I want. My pets are out there. Um, definitely not killing like I once was. But it's quite uh, quite capable of handling this content. Oh, here we go. We got a boss, Doctor Octopus. And then I'll actually pop in the uh, the dot AOE every now and then. And you can see he's just getting blown away. I didn't even use the signature. The fact that they made the damage scale by level opened up a lot of possibilities for add-on powers. Just incredible. And this frost spikes, look at that. 75,000 point hit. Oh, these things, these things are god. You know. The pets, I still have all the pet artifacts and everything. The pets at best would hit for 3,500. So 3,500 times 8. You're not really getting what we were getting before. Kind of sad faced, but I, mean, I like them as a, a pet class, but he's still a monster. It took me a while to just figure out what I wanted to do with him. Kind of raged at the change. Kind of mad that I'm stuck with Young Gnar though, because crit sucks. So I hope they either a massively increase the crit amounts on these legendaries and such because it's a joke. Although the bow and Excalibur are awesome. Yeah. Mental damage one would be all right for, obviously, but even still, that one's barely twenty percent damage increase. Yeah, you know, it's almost as good as a wizard medallion. That's kind of sad. 
I don't think they thought through the uh, legendaries. Either that or they're doing something for us and we just don't know it. I hope that turns out to be the case. So I'm editing Ghost Rider's video in the background. This seems a little choppy. I tried maximizing. It looks like I got a little too much going on as usual. Uh, one of my buddies is asking what the hell happened. Some people are going to be happy. Some people are going to be sad. Oh, he's a Hulk player. <laughs> he's not liking a Hulk. Hulk actually can pull some numbers. But you got to really do some weird things with Hulk. At least they fixed Avalanche Leap. How do I get over to where he is? Let's see, where's the map? I want to kill the wizard. Maybe I'll do a whole next frame. I can't believe I logged in and got a unique. <laughs> I, mean, I don't know if you're watching, but I'm just really spamming stuff and I'm not losing spirit, so. Gives you an idea of how nuts you can really go. Oh, there's Wizard. I probably should have read what all these gift boxes are for. I think they're the money and stuff, but I didn't read. Was there a wizard there? I didn't see him. Ooh, I killed him. Ooh, what's that? Zigger to Kogo. I never got that before. Oh, I'll take a splinter. I just spent 600 for Ghost Rider. He was a little expensive. Not sure if he was worth 600, but he looks awesome. What's this? Zigger to cargo point. Target location that cost 5% current health cannot be used if you have less than 10% health. No. Crit ring damage, crit. Oh, this kind of sucks. Wizard medallion. Ooh, a level 60 medallion. So that was a level 60 wizard, just to let you know. If you thought he was low level or something. Ooh, fortune card. Look at the luck I am having. Jeez. I'll take all of this. Uh, I guess I lost it. I'll take that anyway. Where'd my wizard medallion go? 458. Oh, that's a lot more. I'll take that. That goes on. That goes in the bank. That was definitely worth this. So let's go kill Modok. Modok's uh, medallion is actually very handy now too, by the way, for tank type classes, uh, aka Miss Marvel, and Hulk, anybody with a taunt. As you can see, I'm just using these illusions really as placeholders. I don't care about their hit points. I don't care about the duration. I don't care if they die. If they die, they did their job. Here, if you really want to see something burn down fast, I am going to pop button number three. And where's Modoc? There he is. That's target one. I popped the signature ability. That's why everything happens to be dying around me. I think it already wore off, though. But, come on. You gotta admit, that was pretty sick. This is all level 60 stuff. It's my level. I just walked through it. So.
So don't despair when you first see your Loki and go, crap, my pets suck. What happened? What do I do? How do I go? I say this is how you go. It's kind of a variant of the super cool Frost Meech. Except uh, I'm calling him Frostburn. Because we're using that little dot now. With the new changes, we're using them all to my advantage. And uh, that's Loki, Frostburn. So, hope you guys enjoyed, hope it helped, and I'll talk to you all later.